This educational video is brought to you by the Allergy Specialists at Children's Hospital of the King's Donners. Today, we'll explain a new treatment option called Oral Immunotherapy, or OIT. Oral Immunotherapy is a medical treatment for food allergy, also referred to as desensitization therapy. It involves feeding a food allergic individual small, gradually increasing amounts of a food they are allergic to on a regular basis in order to build up tolerance to that food. This treatment is not expected to cure the allergy, but can make a person less likely to have an allergic reaction if accidentally exposed to the food. The type of OIT treatment we'll discuss today is called palforzia. Palforzia is a prescription medication made from peanuts. It's approved for the treatment of peanut allergy in children 4 to 17 years of age. Palforzia does not cure peanut allergy or treat allergic reactions. Your child will still need to maintain a strict peanut-free diet and carry an epinephrine auto-injector while on this medication. The goal of this new treatment is to reduce the chance that your child will suffer a severe allergic reaction if he or she is accidentally exposed to peanuts. Ready to learn more? Here's how it works. There are three phases of treatment. 1. Initial dose escalation. 2. Updosing. And 3. Maintenance. Let's break each of these phases down. Phase 1. Initial dose escalation. This phase of treatment happens in our office under close medical supervision. We start very small, giving your child about 1 six hundredths of a peanut kernel. Over the next 5 to 6 hours, we give 5 increasing doses, observing your child after each step and monitoring closely for signs of an allergic reaction. If your child can tolerate the last step, eating about 1 50th of a peanut kernel, they've passed and are ready to move on to phase 2. Phase 2, updosing. In this phase, your child will visit our office every two weeks for the next six months. At each visit, your child will updose or receive a new, slightly higher dose of the medication. Each visit will take about one hour. After each successful office visit, your child must continue taking the new dose at home every day until the next updosing visit. This process repeats itself until your child safely builds up to the final dose, 300 milligrams of peanut protein. This dose is equal to about one peanut kernel. Phase three, maintenance. In this last phase, your child will take the 300 milligram dose every day at home. Taking your dose every day will keep your child desensitized and less likely to react if accidentally exposed to peanut. Once you've reached this phase, your dose will never get any higher. Now that you know the treatment schedule, let's talk briefly about safety. Since this medication contains peanut protein, allergic reactions with dosing can occur. Let's review some important do's and don'ts for taking the medication at home. Do's 1. Before dosing, make sure you have your epinephrine auto-injector available. 2. Give the medication at the same time every day. If your child has recently been active when you're ready to dose, wait a period of time for them to cool down and calm down. 3. Take each dose with a meal or large snack. 4. Mix the medication into a cold or room temperature, soft food like applesauce, yogurt, or pudding. 5. Watch your child for one hour after dosing. 6. Be aware that certain conditions may increase the likelihood an allergic reaction, such as an infection, stress, menstruation, exercise, or taking certain pain medication. Dose adjustments can be made. Don'ts 1. Don't put your child to bed right away after dosing. 2. Don't let your child eat peanut products as part of their diet. 3. Do not take extra doses if you miss a day. 4. Don't swallow the capsule whole. You must break it open and mix the medication with food. 5. Do not let your child participate in sports, other physical activity, or take a hot shower within 3 hours after taking their medicine. We know that changing your child's treatment plan is a big decision, so we are always here to answer any questions you may have about this or any other aspects of your child's allergy care. If you think this treatment option sounds like a good fit for your child, the first step is to talk to your allergist. Your allergist will walk you through all of the necessary steps to get the process started.